Welcome back to the next lesson and uh, in this lesson we will see that how to create the custom variables. So for example, if we look at the right section, so these are all the different variables which we are extracting directly from the database and then we are displaying those uh, objects onto the tables. And uh, now let's say we want to have a new column that is to calculate the commission based on the sale price. So for example, we have a 5% or maybe 10% commission on the sales price, but we don't have that column available in the database. So what we can do is we can create our own custom variable based on some calculation and then we can display that custom variable on the table as a column. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. So if we look at the right section, so we are currently here on the first icon which is showing uh, the document objects. So these are all the different objects or the variables and then you, you can see here the icon. So this basically is to add a new variable. So if you click on this icon, the FX icon, so you will have another small window and that small window is to create a new variable or your custom variable. So the first thing that you will have to do is to give it a name. So let's call it sales commission. And uh, then you will have to specify the qualification so qualification so let me check the spelling maybe some spelling mistakes anyways okay uh, then you'll have to look at the qualification okay so qualification means the type of variable that you are uh, going to create so we will go here for the measure so measure is any variable which is based on a certain calculation so let's go for the measure as the qualification and then you will create that custom variable. Now that custom variable, it could be uh, based on already defined variables or just a simple calculation like 10 plus 10 or any simple calculation. So let's say that the new variable that we are going to create is based on the sales price. So what we can do is we can double click here from the object section, we can double click here on the sales price so sales price here is here in the formula section. So basically we are, tr we are going to create that formula that how to calculate the commission, sales commission. So the sales commission, uh, let's say 5% is based on the sales price. So whatever the sales price, multiply that by five because of the 5% and then divide by 100. So that will give us the 5% of whatever sales price is. So this is the formula that we have written here. And we want to check whether this formula is correct or not. So we can click here on the validate button and we will get the message. Okay, this formula is correct. And then we can click okay and we can use that uh, new custom variable in our table. Okay, so click okay. So here we can see on the right side, we have this variable section and under the variables, we have here the sales commission. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to add the sales commission uh, variable on this table. Okay, so what, how we can do that, so make sure you have selected this table, which we are calling it as block one. And then you go here to the first icon that will display all of the columns. And now we can drag this sales commission column on the column side and release the mouse button. So you will see that the sales commission column has been added here. Okay. Uh, but the small problem that we are facing is that the formatting is not there. So we'll have to again manually format. But if we try the other method of adding the column, so for example, I want to remove this sales commission. So I'm again back here. To the same window where we can have all of the columns of this selected table and here we have the sales commission and i can just click here on the delete icon so that will delete this column from the table and if i try the other method of adding the column onto the table 
which is I select this object and I drag it directly towards the table and I go to the to the last column the right edge of the last column and you will see that the color will change a little bit okay. and now release the mouse button so you will see that the new column has been added and you still have the same formatting like the formatting of the whole table all we have to do is to just increase the column width a little bit all right so here we have the new column that we created uh, as a custom column which was not part of the database okay so let's go back and look at some of the other options which we have available so if i click one more time uh, to add a new variable so that will take us to the same window where we can uh, create a new variable or if you want to edit this existing variable you can click here on these three dots next to the variable name and you can click on edit or you can delete and all the other options are available but if you want to create a new variable again you'll have to click here on this fx icon so you'll create a new variable and again let's give it any name new variable qualification again it could be a dimension or measure and uh, so what i'm going to uh, show you is that we have here different functions okay we have here different functions that we can make use of for example let's say what we want to do is we have here different article labels we have here different article labels and for some reason we want to check that what is the length of these labels like how many characters there are how many alphabets there are in all of these in each of the article label some of the names will be very lengthy some will be very short so we just want to calculate the length of these article labels so what we can do is we have here a function because it is a function to calculate the character so we'll find this function under the character option and the name of the function so let's scroll down and we will find the appropriate name okay and uh, upper lower replace okay we have here the length okay so if we double click of so if i double click on the length okay so we have here this function already added to the uh, formula area so if you just put the cursor on top of this name the length so you can see uh, the description so it returns the number of characters in a string okay so here we have this length function inside the formula bar now all we have to do is that within the parenthesis we will have to specify that for which a variable we want to calculate the length or for what characters we want to calculate the length so basically we want to calculate the length of the article label so now what we need to do is to double click because the cursor is already in between these two parentheses so now we'll have to double click on the article label so this basically will give us the length of all of the article labels separately for within each of its separate cell and let's just rename it more appropriately and uh, uh, let's let's just call it length okay and click ok all right so here we have the variable which is called length and if you want to display this variable in the table all we have to do is to drag and release the mouse button So here we have the length and now this is basically showing the length of all of these article labels how many digits or how many characters there are within the article label okay so that is how we can create custom variables and we have different functions available again lots of functions are available we can create our own formulas uh, as well like we did for the sales commission uh, so again we can explore some more options so if we just quickly go back so we can see here that we have lots of functions available 
uh, we have the uh, for example numeric functions available we can make use of and uh, other than that we have some character functions date and time functions and again lots of functions available uh, so again all we have to do is to use those functions appropriately in the formula bar and create a new custom variable and then add or display that custom variable in the table